Bottles. I'm Jensen and welcome back to Remnant 2's Yeisha DLC. We are currently engaged in quite possibly the most frustrating area of the game, a very badly designed area of traps. We can't shoot our way out, we can't think our way out, we literally just have to roll the dice over and over again to uh, maybe die, maybe not. Okay, we're going to jump through this. I've got a couple of methods that are actually being used to cope with what we're dealing with. Right here, we can use this ledge and jump across there to skip the climbing animation. This is a 50-50. Okay, we actually, we rolled a uh, god roll. Good. Oh my days! You guys believe it? I beat what? Oh, come off it. Is there any shooting at us? How do we get up there? Oh, we just climb. Okay. Uh, Do we wait until they shoot in sync and then just gap it? Because I saw them shoot. There we go. We go. Yes! That functions. I'm going to do the same thing. Go! Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Wait for it to shoot in sync. Go! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh, you have no idea how happy that makes me. You have no idea how happy this makes me. You have no idea how happy I am to have finally beaten this god awful puzzle. <sighs> I know I would never do it when streaming a game. Yeah, it, 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 it's embarrassing, right? If you have to cheat to get through a game in public. And it takes a lot for me to call a moment in a game a true piece of garbage considering I've never beaten a FNAF custom night aside from Ultimate Custom Delight. Legit. Okay. <sighs> I didn't realize it was actually going to be that difficult. I saw Markiplier have a crack at them. I suppose he just like sat there for a... What the hell is going on? I suppose he just sat there playing Five Nights at Freddy's for a, for a flat month and then he, he recorded every single episode until he finally beat it. Uh, why'd we do this? Is there any rhyme or reason to doing this? It's a path. A path! A path! I'm down here. We've fallen. Oh no. Opus. Those are specials. No, they're not. They're just grunts. Hey guys! I'm gonna kill them. Also, very sorry, but the uh oh no, there are actually specials up. Oh, there's a bunch of them! Fortunately, the Tesla gun is uh carrying. Uh let's fire off lots of Tesla, because it seems to actually be doing a lot of damage despite the fact that, you know, we can't see any of the of the arcs coming off. Another special! Bye! Okay, I'd love to. It's precisely what I'd love to spend my day doing. Fighting the same special over and over again. Okay, good. He missed, which is pretty funny. And the mortar hit him, which is also very funny. We got him. Okay, we're safe. Ish. Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is pretty easy, but 2. Okay. I will keep it in mind. I think we can almost... We can just outlast this thing, right? Just by firing a single spine at him. Or maybe it's 2. Maybe it was 2 spines we fired at him. One will do the trick! Excellent. V nice! V nice! V nice. I probably should have restarted the game so we got the uh, texture back, but you know, I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. Oh, there's actually a thing right behind us and we didn't pick it up. What is this? There's a gold thing on the ground. Oh, it's, I think it's aluminite crystal. It was, it was aluminite crystal. Okay. Right, that's 500 free bucks right there in the bank. At least the terrible puzzle is memorable room design. It was ass. I already forgot it. I've already forgotten the puzzle. That was such an ass puzzle to just put in a game randomly without any explanation or or anything like that. No introduction. No nothing. Now we got another bonfire down here, which does not fill me with confidence. Would probably indicate to me that there is going to be another puzzle room coming up, and I don't think we can open this from this side here. I'll do it anyway. Okay. I smell another trap. I smell another trap that may make me rage quit. What was this? Oh no. No way. I know exactly what's gonna happen here. The hell does that sound? I think there's gonna be like platforms, right, where we stand on them and it's gonna trigger more spike traps. There's nothing down here, let's just roll down. Oh, piss. We can probably just roll through these. Right? Okay, I'm gonna just run through. Running! Rolling! Hello! 
sir. Okay, that guy's actually kicking our ass. Oh, piss. There's actually a lot of enemies kissing our ass, kicking our ass right now. Uh, you've got to use the dragon heart. Don't have a choice. Whoop. There we go. We may have actually died if we didn't do that. Oh, that was so close. I'm going to fire another one of these just to really speed that up. That guy seriously just blow his load into the ceiling. Wow. I face tanked every single one of that rounds as well. Been playing a lot of Beat Saber recently. Very fun game. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I like my uh, combat sports to be a little bit more realistic, though, which is uh, why I end up going for Blade and Sorcery. Is this firing? Okay, Doggo's just enjoying him. Wait, we can duck every single one of these rounds. That's right, buddy. And he's down. Let's just stay on our hands and knees, and if we see another one of those specials, we'll just shoot him from, from below. Because I think we can duck every single one of them. There's one right there. Let's uh, fire this into his leg. Actually, let's fire two, just to be certain. And now we'll get the old chain gun out, in case there's one more. We can fire an anchor into them. And then I think the best idea would be to kind of like try and bank the shots around a corner. I think I hear a special as well. All right, I've almost activated every single one of these traps. I'm not 100% certain what this game is expecting me to... Oh, hello there. Oh, we are taking the piss! That's bad. That's really bad. Okay, we'll get down low. Uh, we'll get our chains out. And then we'll bring it up slow. One shot right there. Now we'll fire to the side here. Look at that! That is what I call cheese. <laughs> cheese, grub it! Proceeds to say, dude, blasting it, load into the ceiling. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, he, he, he blew his load into the ceiling. Gross, right? Pretty fun, I love it. Mainly because I'm amazing at rhythm, the rhythm games. I'm pretty good at, like, rhythm instruments. Not so much games. It's, that's my kryptonite, is having to do it in a video game. At least it's Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero I actually got kind of good at. I'm not seeing any more of these enemies. Why are we in here? What is the purpose for being in this location? Just to be fired at by a bunch of darts? What are we doing in here? Surely we don't actually have to trigger like every single one of these traps. There's another one. Uh, I'll come around this corner here just in case we do actually have to trigger every single trap. I'm just not seeing a lot that we can climb, necessarily. Huh. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We will just kind of walk around looking up to the sky, see if there's maybe like a single ledge that's low enough for us to grab onto, but it doesn't actually appear to be the case, does it? Anything going up over here? Nope. Up up here. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, there's more arrows just down there, and we definitely want to try and trigger them, I think. Uh, is that it? Maybe over here? Who knows? Just have to hit the blocks to the beat and the correct... Uh, yeah, 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 I, I'm, I'm familiar with Beat Saber. I've played a bit of it myself. I'm not good. I'm not good at it. Uh, I, I've learned a, a bunch of martial arts, and one of them is a screamer, which is kind of like Kali, but a little bit faster with two sticks. Did something change right here? Did something just change right here? Strange. What happened? Something moved in this direction. I don't know what. So, like, my timing is not amazing. I just land hits with sticks. Scrim is probably the reason I, I'm dead with rhythm. Games, specifically. I've been to arcades and I, I just can't do it. I can't do it well. I can do the hammer games at arcades pretty, uh, pretty effectively. Last time I did it, I broke the machine. A big King Hammer thing. I, uh... Smacked it so hard that it physically broke, and I had to go and tell the people at the counter. I was so embarrassed that I broke their toy. It didn't feel good. So, where the hell are we supposed to be going? I'm triggering everything that I can. What's going on? We don't have. What the hell is that sound? I heard another. Dude, you're gonna love Bonk Bon and Help Wanted 2. I can't wait. I just heard another one. What the hell is going on? 
Pokemon, that sounds like uh, whack-a-mole. It sounds like whack-a-mole, but uh, with the threat of death looming over here. Where the hell are we supposed to be going? Oh, I see. I think that these platforms are kind of intentionally set up in a way so that we're supposed to climb on top of something to climb on, on top of them. Right? I don't really see any... I don't see any landings that we could necessarily climb up. That's way too high. I'm certain of it. Or why would these be firing if it's too high? No, it's, that's definitely too high. There's no way we can get up there. All right, game. Do you want to maybe uh, give me a hint or um, literally anything? Please tell me what to do next. I'm still trying to trigger all the arrow traps. I think that's pretty much doing it. Right there to empty stream today? It comes and goes in waves. It is a Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> Not a lot of people turn up on Tuesdays. Still, I like the social element, which is why I'm here in the first place. I'm lost. Honestly, I'm completely... No! Oh, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. We were right in the gap of that. That could have gone so wrong. Okay, there's also things up there. Now, I thought for some reason that this here would like raise. Is Doggo dodging them? Nope. Doggo is clearly not dodging them. I thought maybe if we got on top of that, it would do something, but it doesn't actually appear to be the case. Oh! Is that supposed to be a maze? I think it is. No, it's not. They're just recesses for these things that are kind of all around the place. Understood. Right, so there's got to be another platform that we haven't stood on just yet, right? It is Monday, I think. I think it's Tuesday here where I am, out in New Zealand, but... What the hell is that sound? Is something moving? Please? Please move? Well, this one's confusing as hell. I'm not entirely sure what this uh, area is asking me to do. Be quite, be quite frank. Do we shoot this? No. Do we shoot that? No. Is there anything we shoot? Can we shoot our way through this puzzle? Because at this point, I am very, very confused. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a hell of a lot. I'm just hoping there's not like something that we have to trigger on a time limit, because time limits always frustrate me. Yeah, these are definitely kind of like recessed into the ceiling. There's supposed to be one here, I think, but instead it's here. Strange. There's no way we can move them, I'm certain of that. Unless we find these like little platforms around the place. Oh! Oh, I was, okay, I see. Time limit? Is it on a time limit? Maybe? Could be on a time limit. Oh no, it is on a time limit! Ah, oh, the crouching trick. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Alright. We're gonna have to be real, real, real careful about this then, I think. Oh, let's look at the patterns. I'm going. Oh, piss! No, help me! <laughs> oh, no, we didn't get it in time. That sucks. Okay, we'll go all the way back. We've got to wait just a split second there. Also, I found my old crap laptop that contains every amnesia custom story you had when you were a child. Really? Nice. Love that. Absolutely love that. And straight after this one, we go here. And we wait for this one to pass. Good. This probably should have ducked a little bit low. But we didn't quite. Right, so this is actually another one of these really confusing and poorly designed traps. I'm going. Screw it. I'm going. I'm going around. I'm going around everything. Okay. Let's get the old Tesla gun out. We'll try and take out these enemies while they try and gank us. 
One, two, that'll be enough to kill him. And there's one up top over here as well. Hello? Here we go. Put two spines on him. Okay, we should be good to just run and gap it over to that item right there. And then we'll deal with the enemies as they come. Uh, okay. Okay, good. And as soon as it goes down, whoop, we're going to run. I'm gapping it. I'm here. I made it. Why did you jump? That was so stupid. I don't know why my character leapt for the ledge. Like an absolute idiot. Okay, wait for that to go all the way down. Then we gap it across here. Wait for that to go. And then we duck. Yep, good. Now, piss on this puzzle. This puzzle is an absolute penis. We are in a pretty good place though, I think. Okay, let's go this way. What the hell is that? Oh, we're being attacked again. Okay, let's fire a chain over there. And then we start firing these rounds here for fun. That one almost got us. That was really close. Oh, that one definitely got us. Reloading our gun. Okay. Did we kill it? Oh, yeah, we killed it. Right. Okay. So, I don't think we'll make it over there, but I think the objective is to get onto the other side of this room over there. So, maybe... No, we definitely won't make it over there either. Right. Are there any others? Are there any other little platforms that we can stand? There is actually one right here. Uh. Okay, why would we want to go to that one? I suppose there is a button on it. Right, I think if we stand on that button, it's probably going to lower that one or that one. Probably that one. And then we have to do a leap run over to there. Is it going to come back up if we stand on it? One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds until it goes, and Doggo doesn't count, apparently. Whew. I think this DLC's gameplay was just kind of thrown together. I fully agree, honestly. I completely and fully agree. I'm running! And we made it! Uh, where are we going? Over here! Jump! Good. Now we are stuck. Did we have to jump onto the... No, that's how we got here. We have to jump over here, I did. Right, gotcha. What's this one? There! Okay. So we should probably make a running leap over to that platform. One, two, three, four, five. But about five and a half seconds until that one goes back up. That's, that's enough time, I think. We, we got this. Let's just, let's get it. Okay, good. Uh, I'm juking. No, I'm not. I hit that one. Oh, piss. Stop! Okay, dragon heart. Good. Why isn't this going up? I actually just ducked one of his shots. That is hilarious. Okay. We died because this thing is not going back up, annoyingly. He's dead. Uh. Why isn't this going back up? Am I stupid? Why is it stuck down? I just watch it go. Ah! Oh! oh, the game is so broken. Okay, we got to go back through this entire zone again. There we go. To roll through that, of course, and then we have to engage in this one. Make that one go all the way down. Then we have to go uh, this way, and we have to jump on it. Good. One. One area that we just got onto. Why did you jump? Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy dying here. This is actually really stupid. 
The steel CS launch security breach levels of jank. It's, it's the mechanics that are letting it, like it's, <laughs> that's the thing, the thing about this DLC right here in this specific area that is letting us down is not the game itself, but the already established and intended game mechanics. That's what's been letting us down. We have been sandbagged by how you're supposed to be playing the game. Okay, I'm gonna fire that one. I'm gonna wait for it to tick down before I start emptying this gun into it. Oh, I'll just start shooting, why not? And I'll do the same thing over here. Oops. Excuse me. Okay, we took that hit, but it doesn't actually matter because we dealt enough damage anyway. There's another one over there. And there's another one on the other side of this barrage. Good. Okay, I did not actually mean to fire that at him. Fire that one. We'll wait for him to dump his load. Okay, all of my rounds are bouncing off and going to the other side of the building. Which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, let's get rid of the chain attacks. And we will kill that thing dead. Next is... Are you taking the piss? That thing sniped me with a mortar! What the hell? Why is that so wide? Why does it have nothing to do with the actual animation of the fire? When you do get to the FNAF games, I have a concise list of every FNAF game so you don't miss out on anything the franchise has to offer. That sounds absolutely amazing, my dude. We'll go over here and then we'll run on top of this. And instead of jumping, we will literally just move and risk getting crushed in the ceiling. Good. Now this one right here will lower that big boy. We could probably actually just run off of the ledge here and leap. Do a leaper. Yep, and we probably want to run and jump onto this one right here. Why the- I could just- I am not a happy chappy. I am really not a happy chappy right now. This room is busted. This whole, this whole room, the proving grounds, it's all been busted. Why didn't you mantle the goddamn ledge? It's your only function. Nope, nope, almost, almost. Okay, so we need that to come all the way down. Does it just stay down? Is that the thing? Two, three, four, five, six. It's supposed to go up. Why didn't it go up? Okay, I'm gonna get it. We go. we're going for it. They say you have to risk it for the biscuit. I want the biscuit. Finally, it functions! Oh my god, we have completed this room three times and that's the first time we've actually been allowed to finish. <sighs> Hectic! Hectic! Okay, I'm, I'm jumping off here. I don't care if there's like a reward in that room. I don't even want it. This is just death! Who designed this? The new guy? Okay, there's another bonfire, thankfully, so they're at least a little bit self-aware that you're not technically supposed to be able to beat this. Why are they left? Probably to escape. That sounds like enemies. That sounds like enemies indeed. Get ready for spin-offs and troll games galore, but you never know which is which. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with Scott Gorfin and his horrible style. This one's not so bad. I can deal with this. Just gotta, uh... What did that trigger? I just stood on something and it triggered something. All right, do we just leave? Is that, is that the objective? We just have to get through it? No, that's fair, that's fair. We actually ran into it as it stopped moving and there was no way really for us to go because I wanted to hide off in the corner and it, uh, there, was a, there was a blade in the way. There was a blade in the way that didn't allow us to do so. That one was fair enough. 
Not gonna lie, it was it was kind of fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna run this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then over here, and through here. There we go! Um. Hello? Okay. You, uh... You wanna maybe open the door for me? I, I saw the, the trigger. I saw the trigger functioned. And I, I know I, I stood on the right place. Oops. That was close. Okay. I'll wait for that one to go past us again, behind us. Probably go over here. I don't know if there's like more triggers. Oh, it's not a time limit, is it? Oh, I think it actually is a time limit. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna follow along behind this one here, and then we're gonna just get it. Excellent, that one was not so bad. The blade's actually pretty fair. Pretty fair indeed. Okay, I thought there'd be a fight for some reason. Uh, Doggo is unfortunately down and dying. Okay, this looks a little less forgiving than the last place we were in. But still, at the same time, can't be any worse than what we have already been engaged with. Let's go out here. Go over here, of course. And as soon as that blade moves, we'll go over here. Yep. Up, up, up. Very good. And through here, I think, is the next way forward. Oh, no, that's what we were opening. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Over here. Why did you... The running and leaping off of the ledge mechanic is actually really fucking annoying. It's so stupid. It's very clear that whoever designed this mission did not anticipate that that would actually be a feature in any of the game. It's so stupid. It's, it's such a stupid mechanic. Like, it's kind of nice that it's there every now and then, but by God, at what cost? There's another uh, door right there. Maybe that's... Is that like an invisible? No, it's not. Okay. Right, we'll come through. Okay. Do over. Uh, we'll come down here. We will ignore that the door literally just fell on us, killing us. I am so pissed off right now. <laughs> I don't think there's words. I don't really think there's words for how pissed off I am right now. Okay, we're in. Finally. So, let's trigger this one. We'll wait for that door to go all the way up, and then we will uh, leap up. WHY DID YOU DIE?! WHY DID YOU ROLL?! WHY DID YOU NOT CLIMB THE GODDAMN WALL?! Yeah! <sighs> okay. Okay, so. Come here, we raise the door. We raise the door. Oh, door! And now we leap up here. No, we're actually, instead of leaping up here, let's roll into the wall instead like an absolute stupid dipshit. And then we jump over here. We wait for that blade to pass. And then we jump up. And now we get it through that hole! Why is it so deep? Okay. Was that the intended path? I just don't know. What does this do? Aha! More puzzles. And there's a bonfire right here too. This is the fourth one that we have found so far. Batman Arkham Asylum has the same mechanic, but it uses it way better. Yeah, this is this is terrible use of the already in-game established mechanics, gotta be said. Um, whoever put this DLC together, probably not very good at manufacturing video games. 
I don't want to take accountability for that death, but that was probably the closest death to our fault that we've had so far. Aside from that one time, right back at the start where we ran uh, off of the ledge and into the water. That one was our fault too. Alright, I'm leaping up here. I'm going off the ledge. I don't give two hoots. I'm going. I understand the mixed reviews on Steam for this DLC now. Uh, that is because every gamer is sick and tired of going to Yeisha. It's the location that everybody was annoyed with. I don't think a lot of people actually played the game for long enough to realise just how buggy this one specific portion of the map is. Well, I don't suppose it's buggy actually. It's, it's, it's not a buggy experience. This is all intended by whoever developed this map. It's just whoever developed this map is not very good at developing maps. That's the issue that we currently have. Okay, I've got one little dude here. Can't see anything. That's cool. And we're good. Go, go, go. Go, go, gadget, third person vision. Ooh, Doggo's dead. Who actually cares? Who actually cares what Doggo is up to right now? Wait, why is this just a straight shot back to the start? You are taking the piss. Oh, I see. I see. We had to do it faster. That's, um... Uh, that's, that, that's, that's not, that's not cool. That's, that's actually really not cool. Well, those ceiling saws do nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they basically block your vision so you can't see what you're doing. I think that's the intent. Okay, so, what we're supposed to be doing here is... Probably just opening the door with this, and then we gotta go through, right? Okay, we've gotta use our ears to make sure that the um, trap door is actually up as well. Uh, let's jump over this away, and then we will. Oh, that was close! Go up here. V nice, V nice indeed. Uh, we just got killed by the ceiling swords. That one, also probably our fault. How long is this DLC, anyhow? Currently, it's been going on um, for about four and a half hours, but most of the time we've actually spent um, kind of not enjoying this room here. This is like the masochist's core experience of the game. All right, we've got to trigger it here. We've got to wait for the click. There it is. And now we can go up. And we're going! That's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oops, didn't mean to pull that up. Open this door up. We'll go on through. I, I I absolutely love the addition of the mechanic where you have to wait for the doors to fully raise. Okay, we're good here. Big buzz saw on the ceiling right there. Big couple of buzz saws right over there. I'm going for it. And we're going to jump now. And also, now, nope, that, that saw was very unluckily in the middle of the area that we were trying to jump on. Markiplier would love this room, he must, he must show that he knows what it means to go even further beyond. I will be Markiplier in this instance. I, I will, I will give you the Markiplier review. Um, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. And I don't want to do this anymore. Ah! Bro's chair. You know, just Markiplier things. Okay, uh, gotta wait for that sort of move, and we're gapping it. Good, 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 we're gapping it. A good, 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 we're gapping it. Go, 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 go! There is no time to waste! We are waiting on a door which is quickly closing in on us. Oh, I really like the mechanic of having to wait for that one too. The hell? Okay, we made it. Insert Markiplier angry sounds. WHY IS IT SO UNFAIR?! <laughs> yep. Oh! We're on the right side of that door. Great! We never have to do those buzzsaw traps again. They weren't so bad, honestly, gotta be said. They weren't so bad. They were poorly explained and obviously poorly executed, but they weren't actually that bad. What's down here? An abomination fight? 
I don't mind if there is an abomination fight. Just tell me first. Come on. I'm expecting a fight. Oh, there's an item down here. Whoa, look at this. Nice. Is that Doggo? Yeah, that's Doggo. <laughs> Doggo's down. Let's tell him to go over here. He can't go over here. We made it. We actually made it. Are you taking the piss? Is this all we got? <sighs> One single weapon mod that we're not going to use because we're really happy with the weapons we have. Okay. Let's inspect it. Looks like a grenade, doesn't it? A clay pot sealed at the top with a century-worn wax protecting whatever treasures or dangers may reside within. Now, if you know anything, there's only one good way to find out what's really inside a blatantly breakable pot. In my explorations, I have unearthed ceramics made of materials far unlike those I've ever seen on Yeisha. Perhaps their origins lie in our faraway homeland from before we crossed the Dark Sea. Oh, to hold something that once belonged to our adventurous ancestors. What an amazing sensation. My fur is on its end. Uh, great. Can I smash it? There's no, like, interact prompt, unfortunately. Why can't I smash it? We got a corrupted shard here. That's cool. Uh, we also got a forge ember and a pallid lodestone. I don't even know what these things are. Blood moon essence. I know exactly what that is. Right. So, what the hell do we do with this thing? I thought that maybe we just, like... We just smash it. We just smash it. See what's inside of it. Like a person. Like a pregnant person. That's how babies are born, you know. They just, uh... They just smash the stomach open and see what pops out. There's a bowl of sand here. That's also an excellent reward. Thank you very much, game. Oh, and a lift. All the way back to the surface. Thank you so much. Oh, that is ass. <laughs> what an ass reward. What an actual ass reward. I can't believe, I actually can't believe it. We spent so long in this area doing literally FA. Now there is actually a purple item uh, further deeper in here. And since we have gotten rid of all of the moisture in this zone, we probably actually just jump down and see what secrets are hold, right? Like down there? What is down there? I know we can go down there. Oh, there is actually a way down. Wonderful. Okay, let's drop down here. No damage. Wonderful. This looks like a, 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 a boss arena, doesn't it? Hello? What the hell? No, it's just the proving ground. Okay. I shouldn't have dodged, actually. That was a stupid place to dodge. Uh, it's gonna fire a spine, and then we will attack it. We are taking hits. Fire another spine at this guy right here. Get our ass kicker out to speed up the process. Expedite the uh, the murder a little bit. All right, wait. Where, where's the abomination? I know there's one down here. There's a purple guy here. William Afton. William Afton, is that you? Oh, it's a GI's uniform. Okay, game. I see you. I see you. I see you. Imagine you had to go all the way back through everything to leave. And I would rather die. I, quite frankly, I would rather just restart the entire game. And I think that's why there's so many of these uh, little bonfires scattered around this location. Okay, we just got a, a USGI's infantry uniform, which is uh, quite nice, actually. But we're not going to use it, I don't think. Why would we? We are going to leave this place. We're going to touch this bonfire. Even though it respawns all enemies, and we're going to leave this dungeon right here. Leave. Yes. Good grief. I'm so sick of this place. Let's go see that other dungeon that was here. Very few games have, have made me swear since I took up my oath to, to not swear on YouTube, by the way. Very few games. This one made me break it. Very upsetting. Oh, uh, by the way, everybody watching, be sure to, to watch the final episode of the uh, the Battlefield Bad Company series that I was working on. Because I have uh, put like a little obituary for myself in there after I took a rocket to the base. It is really funny. Yeah. What's here? Do I, go from here? I don't particularly care. I uh, Do you just want... I've got a pot. 
Nice. Okay. He doesn't actually care about the pot. Its journey is peaceful. Oh, it's been pretty peaceful so far. Not been so bad. Uh, would, should we take a lift down or should we just kind of walk? Go into the map and see what's going on. Yep, that looks pretty hard to get to from where we're going. Actually, this is a straight shot to exactly where we want to go, so we will take the lift down. And of course, we will look up for any kind of secrets that we need to backtrack for. There were no secrets whatsoever. Good. And we are pretty much Gucci. Wonderful. Uh, we'll come out here. We'll open this door. 700 arrows to the face. Very peaceful. <laughs> they weren't even to the face. They were like, they were like in my in my ribs. You know, something that we've clearly survived a thousand times before, which has made up the makeup of this playthrough. What's down here? I hear kind of like ethereal. Can we go in here. Cool. Okay. What's down here? Why can we go down here? Why am I down here? Yay! Explain yourself! Okay, it's just a nice fountain to cool off in. I feel a little bit cooler. I feel a little bit cooler because we have uh, finally done it. Alright, let's, let's hit this lever. Oh no, it's crying blood! He's not crying blood, he's crying water. What am I talking about? That is cool. That is a really, really cool feature. I love that so much. There's an item in here too. Okie dokie. Let's take it. The Cherished Fracture. I have no idea what this is or what we're supposed to do with it. All I know is that I must kill. Okay, let's gap it through here. I'm also really paranoid about these giant red uh, platforms now. Because I feel like they're going to change things. We haven't seen a lot of root here. Gotta be said, I thought that this DLC was going to explain how the route arrived on Yasha, which is a mystery a lot of people have been interested in, but it's just been its own kind of separate adventure. I feel like through enough channels we connect this to Portal. It is Portal. This, this is Portal 3. It is written. Wait, haven't we been this way? We've been here! We've been here! Oh, this is where the goddess is, isn't it? Okay, let's come through. Yeah, there she is. There's the goddess. Wonderful. Uh, let's go speak to her and we'll see if we can't maybe... Could I do this precious thing? Give it to me. What if I wanted to give it to someone else? What if I didn't want to give that to you, Lydusa? Why? Why am I still shadow split? I should be whole. I should be me. Why is it not enough? The screams. My screams. It will never end. Not until every beast is dead and gone. Crushed and dead! That is a cool boss. There is I like this. Like, I let's uh, get it away from here. Get away from there. Uh, oh, okay. They're firing, they're firing rounds at us. That's not good. That's actually, that's bad. This is very bad, actually. I'll piss, I'll piss, I'll piss, I'll piss. Why? Why did you choose to uh, do that then? You dumped. Oh, wow. Okay, those green things obviously aren't going to hit us. Those lights may hit us. May in fact hit us indeed. Okay, good. And now we'll keep on firing these away. Ow, I definitely took that one straight to the face like an absolute asshole. Here's a dragon heart, I think. Might be a good idea. Then we'll start firing at my booster again. Don't want to go on these little things here, I don't think. Whoops. And we don't want to be hit again. Okay, arm them to demo. Let's uh, you utilize it because we have uh, no health. If we did utilize it, it would have been a lot better than what we are currently doing now. Okay, we'll dodge these mortars here because they're a little bit frustrating actually. Okay. This is, by the way, how we get our health back by just dealing damage. Okay. 
Yeah, I know, it's for the gun! That was very close. Okay, we're firing. We just got killed by the gun's mechanics. Zulu has to be around here somewhere. Epic boss, yeah, it is an epic boss, isn't it? That's what I love about Remnant 2. All of the bosses of every game have been absolutely just breathtakingly awesome. We're gonna use spines. We're gonna use spines and brine. It costs not lots. I do, sir. Hello. Oh, she's gonna scream. Okay, we're gonna absolutely spew out a bunch of those. Uh, we're gonna. No, we're not actually gonna duck that. We are instead just gonna take it straight to the face. Annoyingly enough. Okay, good. Let's actually see what happens when we take these out. Okay. Still don't really know what happens if we take him out. It doesn't deal any damage to it. She's crying! Why is she crying? Oh, definitely took that one straight to the dome. Not amazing. But the good news is that we're not really taking a lot of- Oh, piss. What the hell? Are you serious? Where the hell are my iframes? It's not like I whipped those rolls. What the fuck killed me? When are we thinking you're gonna do that next Amnesia custom story? No idea. No idea. Uh, probably next week sometime, honestly. Okay, the spines did a bit of damage. Maybe we should just like focus on her for now. We'll throw spines at her and we'll take out her ads. Okay, good. Good. Again, don't know why I just took damage. Oops, that's not good. Let's take out her ads. Good. Good. Oh, didn't dodge that second one, unfortunately. All right, she's doing a cry. Have a cry, lady. Oh, uh, what? I just took two hits from something. Okay, very, very quick. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? I am taking damage from things that are not actually dealing damage. <sighs> Get rid of that, uh, death of ourselves because it doesn't really seem to be helping. Okay, chain it. What? Are you taking the piss? Okay, dodge that. Is there a second one? Nope. Okay. Get in the way. Yep. That's full pain. Oh, I I love getting stuck in the animation for this uh this gun. By the way. Why? Okay, that second one demolished us. Oh my god! The, the mechanic for this gun is actually ass. It's really leading us down. Okay, gonna roll through that. Alright, she's having a, a cry because of her dead king husband. We're gonna roll through that and through that because there are two. Okay, as long as we kind of like strafe, we can avoid all of her ads. What the hell was I caught on? What stunned me? Okie dokie. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least she has a cool design. Yeah. She does have a really, really cool design, but the novelty is wearing very, very thin because the boss fight itself is quite lazy. <laughs> Not to like beat, it's it's just a lazily designed boss. As far as I can tell, I've only seen three attacks. One of them is a frustrating amount of ads that just go away over time. This one is just annoying because it's so quick. Okay, here we go. Uh, and you don't latch onto her properly, ever. Okay, let's uh, not be hit by those. 
Dodge. Okay. Apparently, we're not going to dodge that, and we're just going to take two lots of damage from from that uh, that thing that she just threw at us. That's that's what's going to happen here. Okay. Can't attack her because the chain missed, which is also a, an annoying application of the mechanics. Okay. Okay, we can't outmaneuver those attacks either. Oh, missed again. Nice. Right, and we were one hit by that one. Not gonna lie, I'm I'm starting to really dislike this DLC. It is actually kind of a shit DLC. <laughs> And I can't believe that, because it's the first shit one that Gunfire Games have actually put into a Remnant game. Look at all the corpses of ourselves! Okay, we missed that. No, that one for a fact. There we go, we finally landed one. It's gonna pop our ads, annoyingly enough. We're gonna dodge that one. Because it's easy to dodge, apparently we're gonna pop on limited ammo as well, even though it's not an opportune time to do so. Okay, just gonna roll away. I took a little bit of damage from her ads, but not particularly phased about it. Okay, here we go. By the way, we're gonna have to use a lot of ammunition against her. She is as tanky as it gets. Okay, I couldn't dodge out of the way because the game actually just locked up my roll. This gun is shit. This, this gun is absolutely shit for this fight. We can't use it anymore. We actually have to swap it out. Maybe we'll use the Lesbian gun instead. It's no good. It's no good uh, because it keeps on popping its um, unlimited ammo special when we don't want it to. We want to use instead. Here, the Lesbian gun. Uh, we... What kind familiar? Maybe we keep the familiar on this, but we also don't know if there's something else we could stick on it that would be a little bit more effective. Maybe the skewer would be good because when you shoot the skewer itself, it's very- Oh, Fargazer is awesome! Maybe the fairy would be better. Maybe the fairy would be really, 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 really good. Three damage a second from Fargazer, maybe not the best. We'll try the familiar for now, and we'll use Fargazer if it lets us down. But we are not using that goddamn uh, infinite ammo gun again. It is not good. It is not good for this fight. Okay. Let's rely on what we know, which is that we can land these hits here, and the Lisbon gun is actually pretty good. What is stunning me? Okay, I'm taking her out. Doing pretty well, actually. Wow, well, okay, we took that one straight to the face, which is a little annoying, but that is what it is, I suppose. Gonna reload our gun. That's fine. Oh, we're popping! They're popping the gun. What the hell is that? Oh, she's got madness building up. Although, gotta be said, she's probably actually got enough madness of her own right now. Good. I think maybe the things that she throws at us are probably... What the hell is going on here? Whoa, that was close. Damn, lady. Damn, lady. Where'd she go? There she is. Uh, okay. I rolled through that perfectly. That was well done. Okay, I'm rolling through that. Another bloody sword blade trap. Oh, damn, she is pissed! Never mind, she's not too pissed. She's masking again, which is exactly, exactly what we want. What stopped me?! Dodge through that, and we'll dodge through that one before we actually uh, start firing again. And we're about to deploy our fairy. There we go. We've deployed our fairy. Uh, let's... We're out of ammo for this thing! Are you serious? Whoa! What are you doing? Okay. We've got some ammo for our Lesbian gun now. Good. Good. What are you doing now? What's going on? Oh, she's getting real pissed off at us, it seems. Oh, she's conjuring up a bunch of ads, which again, if we just straight... We, we weren't hit by it. Okay, good, good. I thought that, what the hell is going on here? This is revolting. 
Okay, great. No health. Okay. She's got halfway down, though. We've got her halfway down. Pretty damn good. And she's going down slow, which means we may actually end up getting another doggo by the time we... Okay, we had to use a ammo box, which I'm happy to do. Okay, we absolutely took that to the face. Don't want to get hit by that. We'll start reloading this before she swarms us again with her horrible beast. Oh, that was close. That could have gone real bad. Okay, good. I'm going to reload our Tesla gun. Now, this is absolute bollocks. What the hell is going on here? Oh my god! Okay! They're all coming from there. Good. That's so, so close. So scary. Right, that was really close too. Piss. Uh, don't reload! No! Okay, fire away. Good. And fire away at this. Good. Uh, we'll go into this slot here. And we will go into this far off one over here. Good. We'll crouch. We'll reload. Excellent. Okay. Good. We're doing okay. Oh no! So close. Not good. We need to use the dragon heart. Desperately. Uh, because we used the dragon heart, we also didn't have enough uh, time to kill that. No, don't reload here! Oh, finally. We got a, uh, we got a good doggo. Okay, that's not good. That was so close, actually. We almost completely just uh, uh, lost it there. Excellent. Now I'm going to start firing away. And I think we have to out DPS her before she crushes us with her walls. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not losing it here. Oh, my God. Final boss of followed by death was better put together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you know what? She wasn't as unfair as that room full of traps. She, she was not nearly as unfair as that. Like, not even remotely as unfair as that. But, that was still a rough fight. Once you kind of get used to the mechanics, it doesn't seem so nasty. You just really have to juggle, it seems. You, you, you gotta juggle a balance between firing at her and looking at her ads, because her ads can do a lot of damage if it's stacked up together. There's a giant wall over here. Oh, that's probably just an exit. Okay. I thought for some reason there'd be a boss right on the other side of there as well. Mads Ivan, hi there Mads, how are we today? I just beat an absolute clapper of a boss. My heart is racing. My brain is erasing. And I've already forgotten it. Okay, what's down here? I don't want to jump down there. Let's call the lift. Woo wee! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, we got six trade points. Maybe we should spend them. Maybe we should spend our trade points in something a little bit useful. AoE size or a range? Actually, that'd be pretty handy with the class that we're using. Recovery, we don't have stamina, so we're not doing that. Been revived, useless. Rugged summon health, uh, maybe kind of useful. Let's do that. Maybe we'll, uh, kind of make sure that Doggo doesn't go down anymore. Watch Batman. Show a movie? Movie? Which movie? Probably Dark Knight, right? Probably not the Batman. Oh, no! Not the Batman! Actually, I didn't mind it. I thought it was going to be a, a bit of a burner because, uh, Robert Pattinson. But it's not bad. It's not a bad film. Antidote. We don't need that. I actually instead just need some calming serum. Please. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, apparently the quest wants me to go back into that door and also into another door. Pick a lane, game. Where do you want me to go? It's telling me to go into literally every door. Walt. Okay, Walt is up there. Probably want to go here to the primal hollow. And then we'll go have a chat to Walt. I think that's going to be the way. Let's go to Yasha Primal Hollow, right here. <sighs> okay. Coming on 
through. Odd and heavy. Again, I know the quest is telling us to go back. It, it probably wants us to go and talk to the GI, but I think talking to Walt is probably going to be a better idea for now. Are we going the right way? Yep, we most certainly are. We most certainly are. What well, wasn't through here, was he? This was the exit from the area that we unlocked. We didn't even go down the lift. Oh well. We'll get some lore from Walt and then we'll uh, abandon him. We'll go talk to that GI. Maybe we can get him to, to come back to Ward 13. I don't know if he will, but, you know, I never has to check. Walt! Lost. Walt is broken. Well, you're not going to believe what I just did. Greetings, my friend. Sometimes dreams must come to an end. Isn't that the way? Yes, indeed it is. Walt will find a way to carry on. That said, there's something I need to say. I want to thank the Paxotec That's for us. being a friend. It has traveled this road with me, and I know it would travel it back again if I asked. Please know that I find the Paxotec's heart to be true, and consider it a true friend and confidant. For all it has done, I offer this token of friendship. Is it handy? No, oh, it's a feather. Ooh. With a friend's discount, of course. Or will my friend be on its way? Discount! Thank you! Every Let's buy something from him. supports my important research. Well, is it so important anymore if your clan is dead? Yay! This is no longer a thousand bucks. Reduces Matt's health, increases all damage by 1% for every 5% of the wearer's total damage reduction. By 4%. That sucks. That is a sucky ring. That sucks like... That's, that sucks ass. If we ever cross paths again, remember Walt kindly. Well, I don't now. How could I now? Okay, now we need to go and find that gi, G-I. And we need to go and tell him that we've done everything. We are now off to go and find a general infantryman somewhere where we can tell him, hey, the threat has been quelled. You can come home with us. Where is he? I don't think he's on this map, though. I think he's got to be anywhere else. Let's go down this lift. No, actually, we don't want to. Oh, that was close. We want to instead go all the way around here. We want to find a giant rock cock that will teleport us to another location. Assuming there's not... Yeah, there's one right over here, so let's go to that one first. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the closest one. Unless we just kind of dip all the way down the elevator and, and die, but... Dying is no longer an objective of mine. <laughs> I have been through a hell of a journey in this one as well, in, in this in this DLC. Some of it is designed like absolute garbage, some of it is very impressive. The big boss fight, a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, very rewarding and so cool to look at. Now we get to see what happens with this General Infantryman. Where the hell is he? Is he at the Lambent Pass? Maybe he's at the Goddess's Rest? Perhaps he's at the Bloodless Throne? Or maybe the Glittering Grotto? Or the Abandoned Citadel? No, he's not at the Abandoned Citadel. I think he's at the Lambent Pass. Let's go here. We'll check out whether or not this uh, this gi is here, this gi. We also got his armor. Uh, we got a bunch of secrets actually in the last couple of hours. Is this him? No, that's Walt. This is actually the same map. It's gonna take a wee while. So here is the primal hollow and 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 dog as well. So we can't go to the primal hollow and we cannot go to dog. We want to go to probably the. We can't go to the Lambent Pass or the Primal Hollow, because those are the same place. We don't want to go to the Proving Grounds again. That place is ass. Earth and Coliseum sucks. Goddess's Rest. No, that's definitely not the one either. Probably going to be the Glittering gl uh, Grotto. I bet this GI's just been living off of glitter for the last god knows how long. He said he's been here a century, but I think he's absolutely full of garbage. I don't think that's true whatsoever. I don't think he's actually been here a century. I, th I think he's speaking in hyperbole. You know, as soldiers often do. Oh, my throat hurts from all the screaming that I did in the last episode. What the hell? Oh, apparently this is something. What is this? It's nothing. That's great. Thanks, game, for putting that in the world and then not allowing me to use it. All right, where is he? He's not here either. Abandoned Citadel. Oh, he's kind of in a secret area, isn't he? Where was it? It was uh, a couple of jumps. A couple of high up jumps that we had to 
go down. Oh, it's not there. It's not there. It's not there at all. I think it was actually back in the last place that we were just at. It's kind of like a, a four-place platform. Go here. And he lived in a secret zone. We actually just found him by pure happenstance as well, because instead of navigating using the map, we were using our eyes to look around. As soon as it loads, we'll find out. Okay. Uh, here. We want to go right here, I think. It's definitely Walt. Okay. So we want to go right and then straight. Want to hang a right, then we want to go completely straight. It's around here and then completely straight. Without turning whatsoever, there's going to be enemies ahead of us here like this guy. Oh well, not my problem. Okay, he actually got us, which is not amazing. Good. Uh, that's an enemy. Uh, we've still got the Lesbian Gun. Actually, it's kicking ass. I'm not going to lie. This Lesbian Gun is really carrying right now. Uh, let's pop a familiar, see what happens. Go, little bird! Wow, that is a lot of damage, actually. We don't have to do anything! Okay, cool. Let's just carry on as if nothing happened. The bird is... Okay, the bird is gone. The bird is gone. Anyways! And one, two, and there's another one here because we've tripled the mob spawns. I'm pretty sure this thing tried to attack us, but it didn't quite land anything. Okay, good. Got him! I pick up all of that ammo. And I think we hang a left? No, we go around this way. We go around this way, and then we go up this tree trunk right here. Hello, sir. Sorry. Oh, piss. That is not good. That is actually a special, an abomination, and it's probably the worst one that we could possibly have, too. Okay, let's... It doesn't even have a health bar. What the hell is going on? Oh, there we go. Okay, he detonates, which is a little bit frustrating. I tried to dodge that, didn't quite take. I'm gonna dodge that, I'm gonna dodge that, didn't dodge it. What the hell was that? Okay, Doggo's getting us back up, which is pretty cash money off him. He didn't have to do that. We're still gonna be attacking him with spines. Okay, I tried to dodge again. The space bar just did not allow us to do so. And detonating? Is he detonating? No, he's not. Dodge! My god! Okay, roll through that, of course. And he's attacking. Dodge. Good. And dodge. Okay, I think he's aggroed on Doggo. Never mind, he's aggroed on us. And he's probably going to detonate again at some point as well. He's almost dead, actually. Maybe if we just uh, play our cards a little bit close to our chest and stay safe. Good. Good. And hopefully he's not going to detonate. No, he's going to scream, which is awesome. Which is going to allow us to land all of these shots right here. Nice! Ooh. Okay, we got the far-sighted weapon mutator, which is pretty good. Let's go check it out. It's our map. Don't want that. Maybe we can stick it on this. Momentum is on this one. That's the crit one. Okay, increases range damage of this weapon by 1.5% for every 2.5 meters from the shooter to the target. Damn, that's actually really good. Huh. Maybe we should stick that on a sniper rifle. We've got a couple of things that would really suit a sniper rifle at this point. We haven't necessarily been using the sniper rifle, though, for anything other than taking out that, that big teleporting abomination base game campaign. Hello? No! What the hell? No! Not another one of these things! They're so annoying! Mainly because they, like, stop you attacking. Okay, we're out of ammo, so I'm going to reload my gun. He's going to probably try and drop slam us. Oh, he's slow! And which actually cost us a little bit of HP. We slowed him, and thus, we whipped the dodge. Okay, where is he? Man, he's annoying. He's actually an annoying boss. Okay, let's use the Dreamweaver on him, because it's funny. He's going to probably do a couple of attacks. Uh, dodge that, of course. Dodge that, and he's going to do another. Good. And maybe one more? No. No, he's not doing another one. He's not interested. And we've killed him. Ooh, okay, beating two of those guys in a row actually is a little bit uh, sweaty palms moment right there. Okay, let's go and find this GI because I'm pretty sure that we are now... Okay, good. 
I thought that was going to be another one of those guys. We are now at the point where we can kind of like turn in. Hello? Oh, hello, Pop. I didn't see you there. How are you today? Empty? That's great. Okay. We also have this, um, what is it? We've got this breakable ceramic pot that we don't kind of know what to do with either. I think we'll go back to Ward 13 after we talk with this GI, if he's still here. Are you taking the piss? There's got to be a note around here, right? He didn't do this to himself, did he? Oh, no. I'm not writing Dear Diary. Let's get that straight now. I'm only writing at all for Dawn, since she got me this journal thing for my birthday. Said it would keep me company while I was off traveling in the world. She's such a doll. Maybe I'll write this for her. Give it to her one day. That's downright romantic if I do say so myself. That's funny and charming. Dog did it? Yeah, let's just blame it on the dog. Dear Dawn, I finished up boot camp. Wasn't as bad as I expected. Pops had me scared sick about it, but I survived. I did great too. So great I was invited to join us on a special mission. It's a top secret one somewhere real far is all I know. I can't believe my luck. I'll go get to see the whole big world and really make a name for myself. I'll bring you back all kinds of treasures too. Pretty dresses and maybe even some pearls. You'd sure look pretty in pearls. I could tell Pops was proud, even though he didn't say it, but I think he is. Military runs in our family. This is what he always expected of me, and I swear on the good book that I'll do right by the driver name. Things are different now, of course. There's no world war to fight for. Still, I hope I can make a difference. Dear Dawn, I was so excited to leave this little town, but now that the day has come, I've got to admit, I'm getting cold feet. It's you, Dawn. I realise more each day how much I'm going to miss you. You don't know this yet, but when I get back from my first assignment, I've decided. I'm going to pop the question, Sugar Pie. We're, we're about the same age Pops was when he proposed to Mama, so don't try and say we're too young. Feels right. I can just imagine the look on your face. Your dimples really pop when you're overwhelmed. It's adorable. I should have enough for a nice little ring as well. They're paying real well for this mission. You deserve a giant rock, but I'll do the best that I can. I also almost said a different word for giant rock. I, <laughs> my mind was in the gutter. My dyslexia was in the gutter for a second there. Dear Dawn, today's the day I leave. You always say I don't share my feelings enough, so here goes. I'm nervous. Actually, I'm terrified. What if I don't come back? You didn't help either. You just about broke me, baby. I hate seeing you cry. There you and Mama were, holding each other and blubbering away while Pops and I just shook our heads. Women! It's not like we'll, ever, <laughs> we'll never see each other again. I'll be back in a few short months and with a hefty payday to start us off right. By the way, I got a nice firm handshake from Pops with a pat on the back to boot. And then he did it. He really did it. He said he was proud of me. I think in a way that's all I ever wanted. I won't let him down. Or you either. That's a promise. And hey, if one of those beetle bugs tries to sweep you off your feet while I'm gone, you punch him in the kisser for me, yeah? Be a good girl while I'm gone. I love you. I shouldn't tell you that. I should tell you more. I, I, I should tell... I should communicate. I should communicate. I'll do better. And I'll be brave for all of us. That's what soldiers do. Dear Dawn, I forgot I had this thing in my rucksack. Hell, damn it to hell. So much has happened, so much has changed. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll just start at the beginning. Our squad is in trouble, baby. Big time. That secret assignment turned out to be a recon mission on another world. I know it sounds like so it's from some damn sci-fi nonsense, but it's true. We traveled through a giant crystal thing and wound up in some horrible jungle on another planet. Thank God for Captain Four. He's brilliant, and I'd be dead if not for his leadership. We all would. Someone's coming. More soon. Dear Dawn, we made it out of that hellhole prison. Yes, I didn't get to that part. We were captured by goat men. Look, I know how this sounds. I swear I'm not making this up. I don't want to worry you, so I'll keep the details short. Let's just say they don't like strangers, and we weren't met with a warm welcome. I don't know how to sugarcoat this, so I'll just say it. We died, and then we came back to life. But we were different. Hard to explain. We all feel just different. More tired? I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, we were separated from Captain Ford along the way. We fear the worst. The rest of us were captured, like I said, but we escaped. The bad news is that the magic crystal that brought us here is busted. I think we'll figure something out. Nothing could keep me from you. 17 pages is crazy lol. Uh, my last name is Paige, so 17 pages to me is just a family reunion. Dear Dawn, it's been a long time since I last looked at this thing. That dumb crystal's broken. We tried everything and more. We're stuck here, baby. Probably forever. We ran and ran and ran. For days, weeks, months, I don't even know. Ran until we were sure those goat freaks were far behind us. 
We keep trying to find a way back home. We keep trying and dying and coming back. We figured it out, by the way. When we die, we come back older. I know it doesn't make sense. None of it does. We kept expecting Captain Ford to reappear too, but he never did. We searched everywhere, spent more than a few lives trying to find him. No man left behind. That's what he always said, and it's hammered into our skulls. But no luck. Poor Captain. He must have died and stayed dead, God rest his soul, but I haven't given up. I'll find my way back to you, and it's not just me. Dash has a baby on the way. God damn it, I guess the little baby is born by now. Damn. We'll have to find a way back. Please, please wait for me. Dear Dawn, it hurts to write your name, but it would hurt even more not to. Another couple of years have passed, and we're still stuck here. We used our survival training to make a home base for ourselves. It's nothing fancy, but at least it's something. Since last I wrote, we lost Matt. Matthew Wilson was a good man. I don't want history to forget his name, so I'll try to do him justice here. He was brave and decent. For all of this, he sent money home each week to his family back in Kansas. The man was relentless. Kept leaving and dying and leaving and dying. Turned up just to refuel. Tell us what he learned, then leave again. Said his ma was sick in the hospital and needed him. We watched him age rapidly until finally... That was it. Turns out we can still die. Is it sad that that's a relief? I'm feeling hopeless, baby. I miss you so much. I never told you how much you mean to me. Not really. How pretty you are... How much I think about you every damn day. Your face haunts me. I'd give anything to hold you again. Dear Dawn, you remember when we went home down to the beach? Sorry, we just went down to the beach that wasn't home. Beaches are not home. And that seagull made off with your sandwich. You cried and I laughed at you. I remember. You can smell the sea from a mile away. My car made that awful sound every time I went uphill and you insisted it was charming. You named my car Meryl and I had kittens because that is no name for a car. You get these freckles on your nose when you're out in the sun for too long, and your eyes are green as emeralds. Dear Dawn, today we said goodbye to Buddy Shannon. He leaves behind his wife Lydia and three little girls. This one hit me hard. He went on and on about those kids. Damn it, I can't stop crying. Soldiers don't cry, but I can't stop. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dear Dawn, remember putting on a record and slow dancing in the living room until your pa came in and kicked me out? He never did like me. Remember eating ice cream at the ice cream shop? I would pretend to drop mine so we had to share. Smooth, huh? Your hands always got so cold, so I got you mittens one Christmas. Wool mittens. Remember wool? And the pillows. And chairs. Rocking chairs. On a porch at sunset. The crickets singing in the background. And you, with that look on your face that you told me how to lean in and steal a kiss. That you told me to lean in and steal a kiss. You probably looked like an angel in the moonlight. I wonder what you look like now. I'd give anything to see. You probably have wrinkles to fret over now. But it's crazy to imagine. I wish I could see them. I'm so angry about every damn wrinkle I miss showing up in your sweet face. I bet you're married with kids by now. Whoever he is, he's a lucky bastard. I hate him! He'd better treat you right or I'll find a way to kill him. <sighs> Dead on! Another soldier down. It's those rock monsters. They're brutal. <laughs> that I haven't explained at all yet in this journal. They'll be the end of us all. Poor Spencer Clark was too slow. We're all slowing down. It's inevitable. Spencer was quiet, kind, never hesitated to share his rations with the rest of us. Even when they dwindled down to nothing. I could hear him sobbing at night. But by morning, he was smiling again. He never lost that damn smile. I don't know how he did it. Now it's just Dash and me. Dear Dawn, snowmen, stockings, reindeer, Santa, elves, chimneys, chestnuts, tinsel, ham. Started thinking about Christmas, and I had to get all of that off my chest. I can't go on like this, though. It's not healthy to live in the past. I need to let go. Move on. Not from you, though. Never. Oh, hot chocolate, too, with marshmallows. And what's it called? God damn it, what's it called? Dear Dawn. Nutmeg, I remembered. Good stuff. Dear Dawn, I'm sorry I haven't written in a while, but then again, you'll never see this, so it's probably okay. I'm almost out of ink anyway. You're an old lady by now, aren't you, Angel? Time is so cruel. Life is so cruel. But it is what it is. I signed up knowing there were risks. Nothing can be done. Dear Dawn, Dash is gone. My last friend. The last human on this godforsaken world other than myself. Thomas Dash was a brave man, adventurous, disciplined. He woke up and used his jackknife to give himself a military shave every day for this whole long life here. Said the routine brought him some kind of peace, like a little connection to the earth, but now it's just me. But I'm old, tired. I won't give up. Soldiers never do, but I don't have long left. I can feel it. Dead on. You're not going to believe it. Someone showed up. A human. A real human. Even better, they know of a way back home to earth and promised to take me along. If only Dash had held up just a couple more weeks, he could have been saved too. I know you're long dead by now, but somewhere in the back of my head, I can't help thinking you'll be up there waiting for me on Mars Porch. You'll laugh ringing like a bell, and that beautiful smile lighting up your face. I promise to visit your grave when I'm back and bring you some nice flowers, baby. I love you madly. 
In memory of you kept me company all these years, along these lonely years. In that way, you saved my life. I'm grateful I got to spend what little time I did with you. You'll always be my girl, Dawn. Always. Cool, can we take this? Can we can we have this so that we can bring it back to Dawn, who is currently sitting in Ward 13? Uh, Doggo! Bring that corpse with us! Oh, who am I kidding? You're such a good boy, anyway. Uh, pets? You want pets? Pets for Doggo? No, he's not interested in pets for some reason. Right, so we... Oh, we got all of this uh, USGI equipment as well, which I'm not really interested in. It looks like light armor. It seems to prevent against curse, which is pretty cool. Right, so what else do we get? We got some dog tags. Warn dog tags. Increases fire rate and reload speed by 15% and decreases weapon charge time by 15%. That is pretty damn good, actually. If we weren't going for a thunder build, we would probably use that. All right, what else have we got? We've got Burden of the Mason, that is yucky. Burden of the Mesmer, also yucky. We got the Feathery Binding, which increases projectile speed by 15%, yuck. And decreases weapon charge time by 10%, meh. Bonus is doubled when haste is active, we're not using that. And the Rally Band, each melee strike converts grey health into health, yuck. That is absolutely revolting. Uh, we got a bunch of really, really crap gear, it seems. So now that we've done all of this, we probably want to go back to Ward 13 and see if we can't hand in some of these weapons or items that we found, right? Maybe that would be the best idea. How the hell are we supposed to break this little container? Oh, we also got the Eye of Ledusa. Don't know what that's going to give us, but... Okay, we got this crafting material, the ceramic flask. I... Ugh, we can't, like, break it open, can we? Even though that's literally what it's telling us to do. What's left of the game? Hand in rewards, my dude! Literally, just hand in rewards. More bad news. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well said, me. I think. Okay, that sounded like something flying, which is probably one of those annoying ass mini bosses. And there's also a little area that we haven't been to over here. But I don't think there's going to be anything new for us there per se. We can always check. I mean, what's the harm? We're just going to fall off this ledge anyway. We didn't even take any damage. Okay, let's get the lesbian gun out. Hello? Hello, flower. Okay, let's get our familiar out. Whoa, look at those crits! Oh damn, this lesbian gun is insane. There's also a couple of uh, mantises over here. Let's murder them. I think Bird's doing a lot of the work right now. Good. No more room. What are you, oh, right. For the ammo. Okay. Let's start using the Tesla gun, actually. Even though the... The actual animation is busted. Hello? No! Opus! 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 Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. This is bad. Real bad. Real bad indeed. Let's get the Lesbian gun out, and we'll try and get as many crits on this thing as we can. I don't see anything that we can use to crit, unfortunately. Alright, I am getting a couple of, uh, like, good, whoops, prints on him. I got way too early with that. Okay, good. I'm in trouble. Yep, I'm probably going to need Doggo to get me up very, very shortly. I'm out of ammo completely. Let's get the familiar out before we start using the Tesla gun. Boom, got him. Okay. Oh, he still deployed his, uh, that. He deployed that. Okay, good. Wonderful. Uh, let's see what's in here first before we go behind the waterfall. Hello, sir. Okay, good. It's just a statue. Anything else in here? Yuck. Just a chest with some crap in it. Some actual yucky crap. Yuck! Why are you giving me all of this yucky stuff? Give me something good. Oh, another chest you shouldn't have. You literally shouldn't have. Annoying. Okay, we did actually just upgrade a stamina recovery relic, which we aren't using because we don't have... We, we don't need the stamina mechanic at all. Uh, where is the nearest rock cock? Okay, we're not actually close to any of them, which is a little bit annoying. But if we just go straight through this underbrush here, we will come across it. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we will. We need to buy a lot of ammo boxes as well. Uh, just while I remember, because we're running out, and that is basically our ticket to salvation. Okay, we've got a rock cock just up here to our left. There he is! Okay, let's see what goodies this DLC had to offer. We also found an egg. I don't know what to do with the egg. Maybe we go to the campaign, the main campaign, and we hand the egg into the giant bird. I just don't know. I don't know what to do with the egg. But we will figure it out. We will figure it out. 
We'll, we'll make something out of the egg, even if it's just food. I think we should probably try and give the dog tags to Ford as well, since Ford was a commander. Or we go and talk to Dawn first. Well, no, Bravest, no. Bo, no. Don, no. Ava, no. S, no. Whispers, no. Nora, no. Original, no. Matuk, no. Wallace, no. Okay, Dawn is dead. Dawn is actually dead. Oh, maybe Dawn was actually from the uh, first campaign of uh, Remnant uh, from the Ashes. Could have been. Uh, Ford, I got some real bad news for you. You're not Ford. Where the hell is your father? Dickhead. Actually, maybe he's got some law. Nope, he doesn't even want to engage with us. What an introvert. Okay, uh, where the hell is Commander Ford? He's supposed to be in this game, isn't he? Wallace, Artooth, Reggie. No, Nora, no. Cass, no. Whispers, no. Dog. Bo Ward, which we're not really interested in. Bravus. I'm certain that we found Commander Ward in the base game. Ah oh, well, regardless, let's go down here. We'll jump scare Riggs. Hey Riggs, I just came out of your furnace. Uh, let's upgrade equipment. Let's see if there's anything to upgrade. Dreamcatcher, not interested. Alpha Omega, not interested. None of these really particularly interest me. The Blackmore AR-47 actually was very, very good, I gotta say, but we're probably not gonna level it up too much. Hey, Ava. You wanna make me some things? You grumpy old bastard? This better be good. Yeah, believe me it is. Okay, uh, can you craft something for me? You need? Well, uh, I need things turned into... What the hell is this? A long gun. Fires concentrated sand. A sand blaster. Sustain primary fire. And sandstorm hits apply exposed for one second. Max 15 seconds. Target receives 15% additional damage from all sources with exposed. As special as a sandstorm launches a sphere of loam. Impact creates a 5 meter swirling storm of sand which seeks to center itself on an enemy and deals 75 elemental damage per second. When Sandstorm's focus target dies, it will second you enemy within 10 seconds. Last 15 seconds, that is yuck. That is actually yuck. Gross. A thousand mod power required, that is revolting. Okay, what else can we make? Uh, heat wave is a mod, activates an aura of sweltering heat causing enemies inside the aura to begin burning. It's pretty good. Probably not going to use it though. Uh, flying bomb trap fires a projectile that deploys up to five traps after contacting the ground. So this is kind of like a, a landmine. Each trap can launch a flask of deadly liquid up to 15 meters when an enemy travels above and will rearm once every three seconds. Blast detonations release a seven meter shockwave which deals 50 damage and splashes targets within four meters of the center for 100 acid damage applying corroded for 100 damage over 10 seconds. Yuck, last 10 seconds. Temporary mines are just absolutely revolting. Uh, was there anything else? We got this, um, I think we got a stasis core from here as well. Can't quite be certain. Fires a beam which deals 15 damage per second and applies slow. Yuck. Uh, energy wall. Takes an ionic crystal, deploys an energy barrier on impact. Allies can shoot through the energy wall, but enemy projectiles are absorbed. That could be handy, actually. We'll make that one right now. And what's this? Time lapse. Uh, that's base game. Base game. Soul sliver. Uh, I think that's also base game. And trimmer is base game. Right, that's oh, it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else in the game other than this goddamn egg. What do we do with this thing? Do we crack it open or something? Maybe not. Maybe we could bring it to Mudtooth. He's a bit of a chef. Not Matu. Hey, Matu. Help but notice you eyeballing my hat. You don't have it. She's a beaut, ain't she? Woohoo! Jen, you and one of a kind. I tell you the story of how I procured this here hat. No, nope. I don't think I did. I was running with my gang, the Crazy Seven, as we used to call it back in the day. And we were crossing this here bridge, you see. One known to be occupied by bandits and other unsavory sorts. We was no more than halfway across. Take me back to the trap room. And a man shouted, Hey, Mudtooth! He said, you see, because that's my name, Mudtooth. Oh, yeah, I that makes sense. I looked up to see this man, and I recognized him right away. He was known as the Man in Black. Why is that? Because, you see, he was dressed from bottom to top in all black. 
Oh, that makes sense. Now, the man in black was a legend back then, known to be one of the toughest so-and-sos you'd ever laid eyes on. No, so eyes? Anyway, he goes, hey, Mudtooth, I challenge you to a duel. I win, I get control of the crazy seven. Here I'm thinking in my own mind, this seems like a pretty one-sided deal. So I shouted back, what do I get if I win? They Man animated his mouth for this round. Staring me down, not saying a word. But then he let out a chuckle <laughs> and said, not much chance of that happening, but I'll tell you what, you can have my hat. That was generous. Oh, oh, oh. Now let me tell you, this was no ordinary hat. It was something special I could tell even from that distance. I ain't never seen a hat that fancy before, and not seen one that fancy since. <laughs> Sounded like a pretty good deal, I figured. So we squared up. The sun was in my eyes, sweat upon my brow, and I just stared at that man. And he stared right on back. All intense like Ripping. we turned our backs and took our 10 paces and just when i was about to turn and pull my gun i heard the man scream out in pain and the bang 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 oh i, I, I didn't know what happened but check my facilities and i was still solid no holes present not at all then i looked over at the man in black and he was doing the tango with two nasty looking deadwood now don't you forget, the rest of the crazy seven were with me, and they handled the deadwood fast as you could say sassaparilla. Afterwards, the man in black looked at me with those piercing eyes and said, You all could have left me for dead, but you didn't. I thought there were no good folks still left out here. I just chuckled <laughs> and said, you ain't gonna find many good folks if you go wandering around threatening to kill them. Good advice. Look, a surprise washed over the man in black's face. And then he smiled and asked if he could join us. I told him, sure thing, but we can't call ourselves the Crazy Seven no more. <laughs> and from that day forth, we would forever be known as the Crazy Eight. So what does that have to do with your hat? Oh, nothing, I suppose. <laughs> Truth be told, I was out looking for scrap one day and found about half a dozen of these here hats in the dumpster. Hard to imagine someone would have wanted to get rid of them. Anyways, I got a hat to spare. And I'm feeling a might be generous today, traveler. No, now, thank you. Oh, for what God's can I do sake. for you? Ah! I didn't want that! I need to head out. I'll be seeing you then. Why'd he give this to us? What a dick. Where even is it? Oh, it's probably a, um, a hat, right? What does it do? It weighs 4.4 kilos. That's very heavy. A hat that once belonged to some kind of man in black. Or well, did it? Mudtooth went through some kind of a crazy experience to get this thing. Though the details are a little muddled. Either that or he found it in a dumpster. You're going to choose that it's the former. Wow, that is... Something else. That is truly a, uh, a statement. Okay. It's also got R stat, so I don't think we'll use it. Aren't you the chef? Okay, that sucks. All right, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm out of time. I have to set up for another recording session with a friend. So, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Remnant 2's Forgotten Kingdom DLC, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd enjoy. And down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk with me and my community personally. And of course, until I livestream again, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!